guys welcome back to my channel it's so great to see you again um i always do this this whole i don't film for the longest time and then i am filming and i am putting videos up and i really hate doing that i'm i want to be consistent um recently at my job there's been a lot of problems and i've had to work a super lot of the time <laughs> super well um so i had to do um i had a lot of work to do actually at work I was really needed a lot so I didn't have time to film but now things have died down and I was working six days a week now I'm working five days a week so because things have died down so now I have that extra day off and I will be filming for you guys again on a regular basis on a regular um, certain day basis so that will be great and I'm really excited to film because I love doing YouTube videos. I love being a YouTuber. It's so much fun. It makes me so happy to just film the videos, to edit, to do all of that for you guys. It's something I really like to do so I do want to stay doing it and it's just so important to me. And that's why I'm filming right now. I was, uh, that's also why I'm filming right now just because it is so important to me and it does play a big part in my life when I'm doing YouTube I am really happy about it so I do want to stick to that and yeah that's pretty much it I just I want to stay more dedicated to doing YouTube videos now like from here on out I want to do YouTube videos I want to be more focused on it I want to be more consistent with it and everything like that so that is my goal for you for you, for me, for all of us, just for me to do more YouTube videos and to just stay more consistent with them. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. And today's video is an Ipsy Glam Bag review. Oh, I love my Ipsy Glam Bag. So excited. I love Ipsy Glam Bag time. Just, I completely forgot about my Ipsy Glam Bag. Like, and that it was going to be coming and everything. And so just seeing it when I got home from work today made me so super happy. So let's get into it. Okay. Now, when they emailed me, of course, about the bag, I saw the design of the bag. And I just want to take a minute to talk about the design. It is so it's so cute look at this it looks like a ticket stub it is adorable I absolutely love April's ipsy glam bag just the style the look it's so cute it makes me think of like one of those Kate Spade purses where they're really unique and they're really different and or like even Betsy Johnson's got the really unique but super cute bag that's what this makes me think of. It's so adorable. I can't imagine somebody not liking this bag because it is just too cute. Like, look at it. It looks like a ticket. Like, like a ticket when you go to the movies. How could you not like this bag? It's so pretty. Super adorable. Just, I know I've said it's so cute so many times now, but it really is just so cute. How could you not like it? Um, so I love the direction they went in with the April Ipsy Glam bag just the style I love it like at first when they sent me it I was like no it can't be that nice like there's no way they made the Ipsy Glam bag that great this month and then um yeah I saw they sent me like another email and I saw it and I was like oh my gosh that is the Ipsy Glam bag I'm so excited to get mine like I was I guess there was a part of me that thought it was too good to be true because I'm like, there's no way I'm going to get such a cute bag, but it's, it's really adorable and I'm going to use it as a clutch, like, and I love it. So now, getting into the products. Product number one, Heavy Metal Naked Cosmetics. Um, I think it's like, um, a glittery, is it a glitter thing? I don't know. Find out. It looks like it's um 
one that you need to put glue down with and then you apply this. I'm not crazy about those kinds, but it looks pretty cool. Like, it's a nice shade, but in reality, do I see myself using this? No. Not at all. Not really, no. So, I mean, it's nice, but... That's product number one. So far, not so crazy about it. Still love the clutch. So, this bag, I don't know. I think the bag's going to make up for me for a lot of it. Next thing is this lip care stick. So it's like lip balm, pretty much. It does not smell good. So it makes me wonder... It's the Tony Molly Lip Tone Lip Care Stick. Very interesting. Very interesting. Wow, I haven't filmed an Ipsy Glam Bag now that I think about it in like three months. Shame on me. Shame on me. Let me just say that. So after the lip balm, which I guess I'm, I have a lot of lip balms. So I, if I'm being 100% honest, I don't know when I'm going to get to use that one. Like I have one at my desk at work. I have two at my desk at work. Now that I think about it, I have one in my bag. Like, I don't know when I'm going to use that. I'm sure I'm going to get around to it, though. Stay optimistic. Mm -hmm. This is adorable. This makes me think of, like, Lisa Frank. Oh my god, it is Lisa Frank. How crazy is that? I did not see that coming. I didn't see it coming. It's got like unicorns on it and it's got like a pink bristles up here at the front. And you know, I can sometimes be super girly. I mean, sometimes I'm like laid back and I'm like kind of um, bo bohemian, boho type. Like my room's like half girly, half bohemian feel. So I can fluctuate back and forth between the two but this is kind of adorable it makes me think of it makes me think of better times easier times when I was a child with my Lisa Frank folders and my Lisa Frank notebooks it's so fluffy and I love it it's like an it's an angled brush it's really nice I like the rose gold here like up here and then it's got the unicorns and butterflies and colors and it says Lisa Frank. And it's just like the Brussels are really nice and soft. So that's really great too. That brush brought the bag up a little from the first two products for me. Hand and nail cream, the white company, Sicilis, Sicilis, like a warm Indian ocean breeze, soothing Sicilis is an evocative blend with notes of rich, excuse me, with notes of rich amber, fresh bergamot and bright orange, warmed by notes of exotic coconut vanilla. I have been obsessed with coconut recently, like coconut, not like um the taste of it so much, but like coconut products. I have this coconut hand lotion. I recently got the Dove like coconut deodorant because I always use the, um like the cucumber one, but I was like, oh, let me try something else. And I smelled the coconut one and I was like, yes. And I've just been using coconut everything, so I'm very excited for this. As you can see, I'm already opening it, like pulling the 
thingy off and my hands has been really dry like my right hand has been peeling like the skin is peeling which I don't like I keep moisturizing because I feel like that should help but it hasn't yet so not happy about that but I'm hoping maybe this will help oh it smells so good it's like like it said like coconut and almond like it's got the blend between them and it feels very different from the other lotion I used not saying the other lotion I used was bad not saying that it's just this is more of a hand cream one I don't know I'm gonna exfoliate my hands if that doesn't sound weird I'm gonna use um some of my lush products to exfoliate my hands a little bit later maybe the maybe the skin will, that'll make the skin easier so my hands are super soft after using it and it smells really good I like it and it's so little it's like travel size perfect I love it it's great and like I said it smells really good too so that's a plus that brought the bag up a little bit more now So the last thing I got are two nail polishes. Twin nails. Twin nail. Meg Twin Nail. That's what this is. And it's like they both say lovey-dovey on it, but they're obviously two different shades, which kind of confuses me. Whoa. They're kind of awesome. Like the way I really am liking the way they're set up. I really like this one and I think I'm actually going to paint my nails now tonight this color. Because it just, it's like a nude and I really like it. It's cool because you get two nail polishes like in one. This is really neat. Well, I'm not sure if you guys remember but recently I, um, I did used to have tips and I took my tips off so that way I could um, paint my own nails. I was doing the Sally Hansen gel manicure in the shade red eye and I really loved it it's just as you can see my nails aren't red right now so the only thing that was up like they lasted for like maybe two weeks every week though like if I didn't do them every week it would be fine they would last two weeks but I, I would do I would take them off every Saturday and repaint them every Saturday and one day I just like didn't paint them and I kind of then everything happened with work me being super busy at work all the time and so I just stopped painting my nails so that's what happened with that it's not like they that it didn't work it worked great so I definitely give that a thumbs up it worked really amazingly it's just with everything that with everything that went on with work for me I got really busy and there was just a lot that I had to stop doing so that was all that happened with that but I'm definitely gonna do my nails tonight one of these colors I'll surprise you you'll see it in the next video definitely loved these so so out of the five products I got in my bag, um, I, if I have to base my opinion on April's Ipsy Glam Bag, on the bag itself and the five products, I definitely love this, this month's bag because there was only two products, looking back, there was only the two products that I really wasn't crazy about, didn't really care for. It sucks that they were the first things I opened because it kind of made me think, Oh my gosh, this month was not a good glam bag. I don't like it. But, like I said, there were then the three products that I really did like. And I like the bag itself. So that's also really great. I feel like this bag was just above all. It was a win. It was a thumbs up. I loved this month's bag. So, and I feel like I haven't genuinely loved a glam bag in a while now which sucks but I'm really happy I liked this one so much and yep yeah, 
that is everything. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it felt like I was rambling in this um, video. It's just I felt like there was so much to just um, touch base with you guys about and that I just wanted to I guess talk about one on one you know so because I haven't filmed in a long time which I totally regret but yeah I just wanted to do that and I'm sorry again if I rambled um, subscribe to my channel so that way you guys can check out all my videos so that way you can be one of my subscribers it could be fun and don't forget after you subscribe to hit the bell so that way you can get notifications whenever I post new videos which is great because then you're on top of everything even though it's maybe every week I post a video and then I will not post for like a month which sucks because I get super busy but like I said right now my goal is to stop doing that and to keep posting videos and to stay updated with it because I think you deserve that I think I deserve that everybody deserves that so yeah like I said subscribe hit the bell get notifications when I post videos and I will see you guys shortly I promise bye